Nick says that a while ago he found a uh, skeleton archer, a uh, mob spawner, and so he I haven't been there yet, and he built a uh, uh, he built a way there through the through it, from our base. Can you bring some wood? Can I? Yes, I can bring some wood. How much do you need? Oh, actually, bring the ladders. Bring ladders? Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's see. Detour. And now you're going to build a. You're gonna build a a, a trap so that we can collect the materials from yeah. them. Is ten enough? Yeah, I only need like two. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay. okay. Oh, I'm hungry. Munch, 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 munch. I have two pork chops. Munch, munch. I'm still just eating watermelon. I, I still have the original stack. If this were real life, we would be so sick. Yeah, it would just be pooping everywhere. <laughs> oh, there it is. And you're going to build a, a trap, and then we're going to collect the materials from it, correct? Yes. Because bones are extremely important to make bone meal for planting and farming, and we do a lot of that. And you get arrows and such, which we uh, we actually prefer hunting with bows. That's our preferred weapon is the bow and arrow system. So, and the way this is going to work is he is going to put water here, and it's going to flow all the way down here. And he hasn't built it yet, but he's going to have a crossway current um, going uh, going parallel with. The uh, with this current that's going to have lava in it, and what's going to happen is up, oh, up. Oh, he just did it. Okay, so the water was going to go like this. What's going to happen is we'll stand on that side. The monsters will spawn on that side. They'll walk towards us, fall into this crevice, um, and get caught by the water, and will um, basically will hit the cross current um, of lava, and. They will get hit and killed eventually. Sometimes they struggle. I actually watched a zombie struggle once and survive for quite some time. Uh, just going back and forth between getting set on fire and being cooled off by the water. And what what will happen is the items, I don't know how the items don't get burned as well, but the items get tossed and they get hit a second, they hit a cross current of water that pushes them towards a spot where we collect the items. Um, so we'll need, we'll have to get more water, and we'll have to get lava. I have lava already. Oh, you have lava already. How much, how many buckets of lava do you, lava do you have? Two. Okay. Are you going to need both of them? Yeah. Oh, uh, poop. Because I need one for a garbage can. But yeah. I wish that the pigs, I wish that the mob spawner, once you made them safe, they spawned pigs so we could set up a pig farm. Because there was that mob spawner, the zombie spawner, that's completely useless. There's a skeleton archer over here ghosting. Keeps seeing him appear. I don't know where he actually is, but he keeps... There's a, there's a cave under the stairs there. Oh, okay. Um, anyway, when the pigs, when the pig spawners, when the, when the mob spawners used to spawn pigs after they went good, I had set one up so that I had a pig farm underground growing pigs, and I always had food. Um, it was very useful, but they can't do that anymore. So whatever, because Notch does some weird things that we don't always approve of. Most people don't always like them. But he does great things as well, so whatever. I can move my render distance to toggle button. What? Remove my uh, render distance toggle button. Are you going to? Or? Okay. Hey, crap! Holy crap! Because yeah. the uh, mob spawner is right next to us. Yeah. Jeez, three of them. But yeah, that's the the whole the whole holding, uh, uh hitting can hitting F three and then F to change the render distance. Most people, it's not a problem, but for me, I have these weird, on my keyboard, I have these weird assigned keys. All of the F keys are taken up by 
things like volume control and pause and play and brightness of the screen. And so if I actually want to access F3, F1, or if I want to access any of those, I have to hold down control as well. So to change render distance, I have to hold down control, F3, and then hit F. So it's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a difficulty for me um, you have to really spread your fingers out. And you can't do it really quickly. Like the, a lot of times when you're running, you want to quickly change render distance if you're running from a monster. Quickly change render distance, um, so that you can, so that it frees up space and you, and there won't be lag and you can run away. But I can't, I can't do that. I just have to flail and scream. And <laughs> not that I wouldn't be, not that I wouldn't be doing that anyway. But I don't even know why I made this video because I wanted, I wanted, I wanted them to share and and seeing it for the first time as I saw it for the first time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now. It's already at six minutes, so.